What is up, everybody? Welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I think we're on an Eden run. I don't know. I'm trying to go back and forth, but I'm not really too worried about what we did last. Look at this new haircut. What is this? Little ponytail with a little steam sail off the side. Okay, all right. I guess we'll use Book of Revelations right off the bat. You know, get that soul harder protection. No reason to really wait for it. Played chicken there a little bit. We do have a gulp pill in the rotation. That's good to know. Didn't gulp anything there, but not worried about it. Hope you're all having a good day. Thanks for checking out the video. Doing a little bit of an Eden run here. We're on like an eight streak, eight or nine streak going Eden, Isaac, Eden, Isaac. Or, you know, as I said in the beginning, a rough, a rough outline of that. And we don't have a bomb for this Tinted Rock just yet. Our damage seems all right. That's me saying that because the last video I did, I st was stuck at a 3.5 damage basically the whole entire run. So even a 4.12 damage seems nice. That's, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Everything, it's, it's all comparative, right? It's like this would seem not so great otherwise, but since I just went through that run with 3.5 damage the whole time, it feels not bad. Feels not bad, and the, the tier rate's not awful. The one thing it's a little lacking is the shot speed and maybe even range. Sticky Nickel. The bomb I'm going to use for the Tinted Rock. Hopefully a small rock, because we don't really need Soul Hearts. I mean, I'm going to take the Soul Heart. I'm just saying, for the future, we don't really need Soul Hearts, because we have the Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations is a great space bar item. Figured I'd stand today, you know? Get the standing desk up. Get the legs moving. Probably stand for this run, but you know, not maybe not the next run. We can't we can't be standing two to three hours at a time, you know? We gotta the reason I like the standing desk, and it's not so much it's not so much the the ability to stand, it's the ability to go back and forth from sitting and standing. Cause yes, I know there's people that work, you know, eight to ten hours on their feet, and I sympathize with that. I used to be uh, a cashier at a liquor store. You know, I did some stocking at a liquor store where you would kind of have to stand for eight hours. So more so on the cashier, but um, yeah, I sympathize with that. But that's not really what it's about. It's about getting the blood moving, whether you're sitting or standing. It's more the action of like going back and forth, you know, hour to hour, switching it up, making sure you're not too uh, sitting, sitting or standing in the same position for too long of a time. I don't know if there's any science behind that, but that's just what I've kind of felt is most comfortable for me. You know, not standing for a long period of time, not sitting for a long period of time, just getting a little bit of both. Book of Revelations play here seems like it makes sense. Uh, this is really unfortunate. Not so bad, because we have Cuba meat. I'm actually going to go in here. We do have the Book of Revelations, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we do now have a deal with the devil, which we were probably going to get anyway because we had a lot of protection, but I'm going to play the demon beggar as much as possible, hopefully get him to pay out, and then we're going to take robes, and that's about it. I'm not going to take plan C. Not a big fan of plan C. Come on. Come on, bud. I mean, I'll get a little crazy here. Get a little crazy because I knew I was going to get some health from robes. We got contract from below as well. I'm happy he paid out. We have a world card, which is nice. Definitely going to hold on to that. And a luck up out of that coin, which is also nice. We'll get out of there. We have six cents, three keys. The shop is like semi-viable. You know what? We're actually going to go to the shop. We're going to go to the shop. Mine as well. And I'm happy I did, considering we have steam sale. And I kind of forgot that we had Steam Sale. I'm going to wait till we get 7 cents. It's not really worth the Soul Heart, considering we have Book of Revelations. I'd rather Spark Plug. Something that could help our Space Bar item a little bit. They just ran into the fire. That's okay. That's all right. I didn't want to fight them anyway. We got a key, two coins. On with our day. Whew. All right. I need some more coffee. I feel like the coffee, it has entered my body, but it hasn't gotten in my veins yet. You know, it hasn't hasn't jolted the energy into me. With that being said, sip of the old iced coffee. Sip of the old iced coffee. That's actually a great troll bomb. It's going to allow us to get to this chest, which holds a 
freaking pill, which is a Horf pill. Which is one of the more interesting pills, in my opinion. What does it do? It's just an Ipecac shot? It's kind of weird that that even exists. But all right. I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. Uh, Book of Revelations play is ready. We might as well. There's no real point to hold on to it. Considering every room we hold on to it is a room we're kind of wasting. I don't know why the boss music stopped after we killed only half of the boss, but... It did. Um, we will, obviously, yeah, there's nothing really in there for us, but we will just take Placenta. It's gonna be regen, which is gonna probably fill up our red hearts. Also an HP up, of course. So three red hearts. We're doing very well. We're doing very well. We got two de deal with the devil items. We have three red hearts and four soul and black hearts. You can't really ask for much more than that. I mean, we got Cuban meat, which is the better orbital out of Cuban meat or ball of bandages. I don't have a bomb for this, but I believe it's a moon card. We'll just use it. We actually netted a bomb out of it, which, oh my God, which we could use to do this, get some more money. And we're going to go back to the shop to buy spark plug and maybe something else. I mean, we do have 23 cents. The thing is the shops are gonna be viable all throughout this whole run for us considering we haven't, we started with steam sale. So we will take this, we will take this, we will take this, we will pop this and uh, you know what? We'll do this cause we could turn this into like eight cents. Unfortunately, we only netted like two or three cents and we also hurt our donation machine. But the idea there was maybe we can get a nickel on top of it all and make it worthwhile. Because like I said earlier, this run is going to be pretty shop heavy considering we started with Steam Sale. We're going to want to check out every shop. It's something I got to kind of repeat a couple of times to get into my own brain because shops are always up there on my priority list. But, you know, when you have Steam Sale... It's, it's it's even more up there. So we gotta just kind of remind ourselves of that. Who, who said what? Who said what on Twitter? New follower. Sometimes it alerts me that I get a new follower. Is this guy a big deal? 2.6 million followers. But he's following 1.7 million. Like, uh, bro, I mean, yeah. You just do, you're just following people and if the person doesn't follow you back, you wanna follow them, dude. What is, that's so dumb. Why do people do that? It's so stupid. I'm not gonna follow you back, Mr. Color Theory Man. Follow for follow, man. Follow for follow. It's like your ratio is all messed up, dog. Ratio is all messed up. Ooh, get by. Holy hell, that was close. Plus, that was a champion. That would not have been good. Look at little Chub. Not little Chub, is it? It's big, big Chub. Dim bulb. Interesting. We should definitely try to find an item, a space bar item that is going to help us out in this regard. Because dim bulb and lit bulb are both very good trinkets. I like them a lot. Got in there with Cuba meat. Sped up that first phase a lot. Does he just spawn spiders? Spawn spiders and shoots the uh, the white stuff? It's gonna be a bad time for you. It's another cube of meat, which I'm okay with. And holy juicy, deal with the devil. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take all of them. We will take all of them. <laughs> that is uh, really, really good. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, deal with the devil. Look at our little ponytail still coming out the back. We got the miter sitting right there. We don't have enough bombs to get to it just yet, but hopefully in the future we will. Okay, we have a Book of Rev play, which we will do on a room where we fight. That way we get the little bit of stat bonus, at least for that room, as shown right here. But I would love to be able to upgrade our spacebar item. Well, maybe not even upgrade, just change our spacebar item to one that is empty a lot of the times, but I mean, this is should give us bookworm? Does, does give us bookworm, okay. Why did I do that? I don't know. I probably should have saved it for this miter. 
I, I don't know. Let's see here. How many bombs do we need? Two? I mean, probably more than one, but we'll put one down. I was going to say, maybe we get to the chest and then chain reaction this bad boy, but we didn't. All we need is one more bomb, though. We got a couple more rooms. Still haven't even found our item room. I don't think we found our shop. No, we found a library, not the shop. Shop is also going to be viable at 15 cents with Steam sale, so... I mean, everything's good. Everything is awesome. Mm. All right, we're probably gonna go into the curse room here. When you have a renewable uh, health resource, it's kind of silly to not take your chances on curse rooms and stuff, especially in that situation where we actually came out with more health. Uh, curse rooms are normally pretty kind. It's just if you take the chance to go in it or not. But like I said, with the renewable health resource, we should take it more often than not. Speaking of that renewable health resource, there we go. Um, I'm good on my reflection. Not really a big fan. I don't think it really adds that much to the run, like interest level. Uh, unfortunately, unless we get a bomb here, we're in the shop. We're gonna be SOL on the miter. There is a bomb here. There's actually BOGO bombs too, which is interesting. Stopwatch, sure, why not? Why not, dude, why not? A little bit more exciting than BOGO. Uh, let's use the bomb here, grab the miter, grab the key. Not so bad, not so bad, my man. All right, let's go, let's get out of here. Catacombs one, 10 minutes. Not doing, not doing bad at all. I, I like kinda wanna use my keys there, but they, it takes too long for those guys to pay out. Those guys are like, if you have an abundance of keys in the womb or something, you can feel free to play them a little bit, but right now it just doesn't seem like it's in the cards. Having only two keys and wanting to go to both the shop and the item room? What happened to my hitbox there? It's like we have BOGO bombs anyway. Thanks to contract from below, broken stopwatch doing its thing in there. Broken stopwatch can also act the other way, which hopefully doesn't happen. We do have the world card, which we gotta remember. We wanna do some mapping. I always like to save the mapping as long as possible. I mean, that is just way too kind. We're gonna have the stat bonus here, which is gonna help us clear this room pretty quickly. Would really, really love to be able to get away from this space bar item. Verp. I mean, we could gulp dim bulb. It's not like it's, it's not like it does anything negatively towards us, like ever. It just can only be a positive if we're empty on the space bar item. So I wouldn't mind gulping it, just to kind of move on from it and just have it in the back pocket, but. Okay, Catacombs 2, we still haven't gotten our item room or shop, but we might as well fight the Duke of Flies. Melted him relatively quickly, and I don't think I'm gonna take the HP up. We also didn't get a deal, so... Mm, not, not the loving the red hearts, you know? When we don't need the red hearts, when it's only kind of taking room away from uh, the Book of Rev play. But actually, I, you know what? I might just take it, because we're probably gonna get a deal with the devil sometime in the future. We'll do this. Um, I was gonna say, you know, maybe this will stay. This will stay uh, empty for longer, but no, it won't. It won't at all. We'll just go with the world. I really don't like King Baby. Like, I think I actively dislike him. He freezes the way your like the succubus will bounce around, which can be good at times, but also. I kind of like when it just does its thing. Relax. All right, uh, item room, right? Yeah, still need the item room. It must be all the way back here. Not a problem. I ain't, I ain't got no worries. This is all we got. 
So we have an 8.6 base damage. When we're in Succubus, it looks like it's more like 12, 13-ish. Just solid. It would all be better. It would all be uh, much better if we had a space bar item that we could empty or drain. We could also think about picking up butter. If we see butter, I know that's like a very niche situation, but if we see butter, I think butter has a chance to randomly drop your space bar item. And I don't know if dim bulb works if you don't have a space bar item, but we could always try. Cause maybe if you don't have a space bar item, it's always it's always dim, you know. Come to think of it, I think you need a space bar item. So forget the butter idea, man. Just forget it. Just forget it, dude. This is a nice room to have a slowdown on. Really wish my tier rate was a little bit better. It's just not that fast. Wow. Very kind of you, game. I'm gonna put on the crotch fan. I'm gonna put on the crotch fan, boys. I think it's really funny that people were commenting on my End is Nigh episode saying that they didn't realize that the, uh, the voice effect. This voice effect. They didn't realize that <laughs> that was me. <laughs> yeah, they thought it was in the game. I don't know. I, I mean, that's a, that, I'll take that as a compliment. I appreciate it. I didn't know I had a voice acting career in my future. Uh, but thank you. Thank you. But yes, unfortunately, that is only me. Rip the fourth wall, but that is only me. Um, all right. We do have a battery down here, which we're going to turk and just pop it if we want. There's also a coin here, which I knew I saw last second, and I figured, hey, man, let's not trigger, let's not trigger someone today. And then the other, per the other part of my brain is like, hey, man, that's impossible. <laughs> That's impossible to get through an Isaac episode and not trigger somebody, you know? Isaac's a very... I'm going to take this. I know I was r rattling on about not taking it and, you know, leaving room to have soul hearts aplenty, but come to think of it, we have a 76% chance to get a deal with the devil. I like my odds. If I see a beggar, I'll blow him up to, to make my odds even better. So, yeah. I'm okay with it. But yes, that, I mean, people hold Isaac very dear to their heart. And I, I totally understand. People think the way they play is the is the only way to play or the right way to play. And I, I, I sympathize and understand that. I really do. I I, I can feel that. I, I've watched Isaac content creators before. And I'm like, dude, why didn't you do this? I would have done this. If, if I would have done it, why wouldn't you do it? But sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow. All right, so we're going to get f fucked on this reroll, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's not looking so hot there, boys. Not looking so hot. This is a huge downgrade. The reason I did this was because, one, I like, I like spicing things up. And that definitely spices things up. We're definitely not in a bad situation. It looks like we have infestation shot looks like we have bookworm still we got Bezelbub transformation which gave us flight looks like we're a lot faster than we were beforehand we just burned a key we do have 99 bombs we do have euthanasia so there's definitely some bright spots of this run but it's nowhere near the run that we had with death touch but the game was so good to me on the last reroll two episodes ago that I almost owed it to the game to do another reroll. If it wanted to get back at me, it could get back at me. And it seems like they kind of did a little bit get back to me. Get back at me, I should say. Because it's definitely not as good, but it's not bad. We do have Little Horn. We do have Pill Baby. Make of that what you will. We do have Judas's Shadow, which I don't know if we're going to access. But we could try. We do have... Uh some tears up damage up i mean we're not even close because we don't have succubus and we don't have death touch and i think we had the pact or the mark or one of those so yeah we're not in as good of a position that's for sure but you live and die by the sword man you live and die by the sword i knew it was gonna f us and it didn't completely f us just a little bit 99 bombs is nice holding on to the bookworm transformation is nice i'm taking technology to just f the run even more See if we could dig ourselves out of this hole that I've created. Wow, technology. 
Technology, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? I always try to take you to give you another another breath of life but Wow, you are really poor when it comes to damage. Oh my lord. All right All right mistakes have been made. I knew mistakes were gonna be made That's the thing. That's the catch. That's the catch 22 of the whole situation. We might as well gulp this black poop. What does it matter? <laughs> What does it matter now, man? Um, I guess we'll go to the shop. We don't have Steam Sale anymore, but we do have 33 cents, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that wasn't bad. Okay, okay. Once you stay in there and, and roast a little bit, roast and toast a little bit, we'd be all right. Another gulp. I'm gonna keep holding on to the world card. Okay, we have uh, treasure chest which is uh, some sort of mapping we don't need the ladder we have flight we are gonna accept these two luck ups we're gonna take treasure chest double active card which we don't have uh an active item um we will buy a key just in case we will do this better our chance at a deal with the devil get a couple more cents might as well try on him as well. Spiders, no big deal. Uh, but yes, the double active item, not bad. Not a bad card, but I still think I like mapping even though we have treasure chest. And it looked like we had some other sort of mapping. I don't know what. Oh, we have either there's options or more options. I don't know which one it was. Actually, I do. It's the boss one. It's the boss one because we already went into the we already went into the item room and we saw that there wasn't more options there, so. With deductive reasoning, it's gotta be the, the boss item, the double boss item, which is nice. And this is gonna be not so difficult considering we have penetrative tiers on this guy. If we just keep our distance and stay patient, we'll be all right. And we are all right. Uh, well, I know we have euthanasia, so. Actually, yeah, no. We only have one syringe, I think. But we are gonna take uh, growth hormones because I like the damage up. Those are both solid items, don't get me wrong. But let's see what's in here. Piece of shit dark bum and a guppy item. We'll take the guppy item. And dark bum, you can go suck a ween. See you later, man. Peace out. Ah, falling over the chair. Ah. Okay. That was karma. It was instant karma. I backed up. I backed up with the mic and then I started falling over my own chair. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. The stopwatch still has uh, the hollow broken. For some reason, it seems to stick to the wall when it's a, a broken stopwatch room. I don't know why. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. We also have sandbag, which I didn't really talk about because it's not amazing. It's just kind of okay. There's our trinket coming into play with all the black poops. Definitely not a bad thing. Just stay in there. Just stay in there shooting your technology, man. Things will get better. I believe. I believe things will get better. Man, that makes a lot of black poop. I didn't realize that. What's up, chub? Feeling a little woozy today, bud? I mean, we have so many bombs. It's only it's only smart to speed up the run that way. We don't have a trinket. We'll take tonsil. We'll also go to the shop. That's why we moseyed our way on over here. And we'll take fanny pack, why not? Uh, other than that, I think we're okay. I'll buy a key and we'll get out of here. We'll actually up our deal with the devil chance by blowing this guy up. I need more coffee. I need more coffee. Ding, 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 ding. Been making them with the uh, cure egg, little K cup, put it in the freezer. Just so it doesn't melt all the ice when you pour it over ice. I know a lot of people do that. Like, I, I remember when iced coffee... This is gonna, might date me a little bit. 
When iced coffee first became like a thing, I know that sounds insane, but I, 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 I was there when it was like accepted. I remember my aunt always used to have iced coffee in her like Ford Explorer. Like this is like, I'm talking 15 years ago, maybe. Yeah. And I, and my mom was like, what do you like? Why do you, what is that? Why do you have ice in your coffee? And why do you have a straw in it? And I always rem I can like picture her iced coffee sitting in the cup holder as weird as that is. But like, it was such a foreign thing back then. People weren't drinking iced coffee uh, as much as they are now. And it was just so weird. And, and I don't know, I remember like even in high school, like it wasn't like, it wasn't as prevalent as it is now. Like every coffee place, even like, you know, bagel shops and bref breakfast places nowadays like offer iced coffee. But like even in high school, I remember like you would go to get coffee and I would get iced coffee and people would just brew hot ass coffee and pour that shit over ice, which is like, nah. <laughs> Nah, dude, that's, it tastes like water if you do that, because all the ice melts. I know there's some life hacks online. It's like, oh, brew uh, ice cubes with coffee, and then your uh, coffee will melt into coffee. It's like, yeah, I get, I get that. I get it. But I like throwing it in the freezer for 20 minutes, then pouring it over ice. That way you don't get the meltage. But it's just weird. Like, restaurants, even like breakfast joints, would all do that hot coffee pour over ice strat. It's like, who thought that was a good idea? That's a horrendous idea. Why haven't I played him? I'll just go hard. We'll just go hard at it. Come on, bud. Okay, that's actually gonna be spun. But it's kind of interesting because it might give me a red heart and I'm not going to love a red heart. If it gives me a red heart, I might I might die and come back as Judas's shadow. Even though we have Guppy's collar. Damn. Wait, what did that say? Okay, spawn the retrovision. Are you a wizard? The hangman. Still of the world. We'll hold on to the world card. And uh, yeah, we'll leave. What is this? All right. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have the empty vessel effect, but it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, we could die and come back as our boy Judas's shadow, but we also have Guppy's collar, which is, makes everything a little bit more awkward. Makes everything a little bit more awkward because it could take us a couple of tries to die. It's always a little weird. We did get spun. It doesn't seem to have been to have done too much to our run, which is not great. <laughs> I wouldn't mind fighting Krampus and getting Lump of Coal, honestly. Lump of Coal is not bad when you have flight and technology. You can kind of gap the distance yourself and put in the work. Yeah, our damage is just okay. We do have a 9.4 damage that. Uh, tied to our technology, which isn't bad. It's just our tier rate isn't that good. It's not ticking that often. Horf. Hey, technology brothers. Look at how bad the hitbox is on these guys. It's so skinny on the eyes. Like, you almost need that technology to break apart with the bookworm for it to hit reliably. Technology could definitely use a little bit of a buff, a little bit of love, whether it's in the hitbox or whether it's in just like the actual uh, damage decrease you get when you pick it up. I don't know what it is, but I mean, I take it just because I don't usually run into technology. When I do, I do take it just because, I don't know, I never really play with it. So I like playing with things that aren't, I usually don't play with whether they're necessarily good or bad is really irrelevant This is a very interesting uh, bloat fight 
Yeah, I couldn't really get in there. <laughs> couldn't really get in there. Um, I think... Mm, what's better here? Jesus Juice gives you range, doesn't it? Is this tears? We want tears. I know, I know Jesus Juice gives you damage. I know it gives you damage, but I think it's damage and range. I think tears and shot speed was a little bit better for us at that point. Um, I like Jesus Juice a lot. It's just, I don't know. I figured damage is 9.4. It's more so how many times we inflict that damage to get our DPS up. And I think that was a good decision. I really do. I usually would go Jesus Juice in that situation. Sticky nickel. Hero font's actually really good for us. The world card is kind of irrelevant because we have uh, the mapping that we need to kind of get through these levels. We have treasure chests and, and something else that's showing us our destination, which is very nice. Might as well just take power pill then. Ranting and raving about how we don't really need the world card. Let's just not have the world card. We could use it to maybe... Uh unshell some secret rooms there you go Let's see what's in here of course nothing because secret rooms are effing trash in this game still waiting on that sausage mod still waiting on the sausage mod make secret rooms interesting again okay we're doing fine though we're, we're probably gonna pull off a W here, even with this technology run. Even rolling at a death touch. Uh, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna be just fine. All right. No time like the present. I mean, it's very good in situations like that, uh, technology, where you can kind of just line it up. And fire from a safe distance. It's uh, times like this where it kind of gets grindy and you realize how bad your DPS actually is. But other than this, you know, we're fine. We could always use power pill if we so desire. And dead. Okay, well, deal with the devil. Uh, Rotten Baby is perfect, actually. We do, actually, I don't think we have Hive Mind. We did have Hive Mind, I'm pretty sure. I remember buying it on sale. I just don't know if that was before or after the reroll. I kind of think it was after the reroll. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, it does, I can't really tell, but it doesn't seem like they're hive mind uh, flies. They, they would usually be a little bit bigger. I found pills. We also have no red hearts now because we took rotten baby. So now we have the empty vessel effect, which you might be saying, hey, Jay, you already uh, have, the, have flying. Why does it matter? Um, well, we get the random invincibility and shield uh, every once in a while randomly, which is really nice. Oh my. We do have Curse of the Lost here, which really sucks. We were getting really lucky, though, with our mapping, being able to see the full map for, like, a couple of floors here. So it's not the worst thing in the world. You know, it happens. Bombs, explosive diarrhea. We're seeing a lot of pills, it seems. I don't really know why that is, but we are. I was trying to do a different strat on that shot. I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to switch it up. Instead of moving up and down, I was trying to move left and right. I do have a soul heart here, which is nice. Oh, you jumped right on It Follows. <laughs> the one time It Follows is actually good is when uh, an enemy like that jumps right on it. Death card. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, I really don't know where we're going, but I'm hoping further away down into the right instead of back up to where we started is going to be the right path for us. Some more money, you never know. 
guys explode. Just keep him at a safe distance. Chain reaction. Ooh, 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 ooh. Just get me out of that hell. Get me out of that hell. Get me out of this hell. Hate this room. Get me out of this hell. Okay, we got a, another big room. Sometimes a good sign. In this case, it is a very good sign. It's connected right to the boss room. Power pill. I found pills. Power pill. Power pill. Okay, that, uh, you know, not, not terrible. I wish we had any sort of orbital because now we have empty vessel popping off for us. But it's okay. We'll make it work. We'll make it work with technology. I believe. The one good, well, sometimes good, sometimes bad thing about technology is that you can place a bomb and not really worry about kicking it away because technology doesn't impact bombs like that. We can get a little bit of a jump start on our damage in that phase by doing that. Basically guarantee a bomb hit every time. One more. We actually have invincibility here. You don't have to worry about dodging. All right. On to the chest. We do have 13 keys, which is enough. And uh, it's not like we have Guppy's or sorry, Guppy's tail or anything where we're going to get a ton of chest drops. But that will get rid of Empty Vessel. I don't know if it's worth it, honestly. If I'm being completely real, I don't know if it's worth it. Take minus touch. Honestly, I don't think it is. Is that crazy? Plus, it'll get rid of the Polaroid. I don't know if it's worth just for and it's, it's SMB super fan, so it's not the best stats up. I think it's even under Halo. It goes Magic Mush, Halo, and then SMB super fan, I believe. Could be mistaken, but that's what I think anyway. All right, little rag man. Relax, dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I was hoping we killed him before he went back into that hidden phase, which I despise. Well, despise is a strong word. Just when enemies are invulnerable, it's kind of frustrating if you can't kill them before they go invulnerable again. The gauze. The gauze. Power pill. All right. There is a secret room down there, but it actually won't be a shortcut, unfortunately. Feels like a good time to do this because it's all in one section. Definitely was a good time to do that. guy shooting out spiders poor guy cannot launch his i don't even know what this is oh it's a different it's bloody lust it's a different sprite it must be from the ui overhaul which is actually pretty nice looking wrapped up heart there the magician to a heart all pretty lame. I mean, I guess we could just take the magician into the fight. Get a little bit of homing shots going on. We just have a spider room before the blue baby fight. And this is, like I said, it's going to be a W. I mean, it, it wasn't like an amazingly good run, but it was a run good enough to win. Um, should put on the homing. We did take it in here for a reason. Definitely good enough for the win, though. I mean, we can also circulate him, get a couple of... Uh, pentagram circles going on as well as shooting our homing shot over and over and over again and landing most of it i don't think the pentagram circles will do anything now that he's in flying mode but blue baby is gonna meet his maker here with the tech one carry boys tech one carry 
That's why I like taking tech, man. It's a little bit more satisfying of a win, you know, than, than Death's Touch, uh, Bookworm, and a bunch of damage, you know? And that's gonna be win number nine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more daily content. Check out these two videos listed down below if you haven't seen them already. And until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.